Hi everyone, this is Wendy. So I'm on to do my first project for Auntie Vera's Scrap and Craft this month. And if you had seen my unboxing, you would have seen uh, what I was sent to play around for with. February, Auntie Vera gave us a theme which was called It Was Only a Kiss. And when I first heard the theme, I thought the first thing I actually thought of was the little um, thimble in Peter Pan. You know, when um, Wendy gave Peter Pan the little thimble and said it was a kiss. <laughs> and that's all I kept thinking of. And I just thought, oh my goodness, that's so cute. So I just thought that I would like to start by using some of the 12 by 12 paper. Um, it, this is from Photo and Play. The name of this paper is Thief of Hearts. So it's got the hearts on this side with like a pale green and the arrows through it. And then this side had the red with the smaller hearts. So what I thought about doing was making up like a little gift box, a little mini gift box, and that you could fill with like um, little candy lollies. Uh, something for maybe for Valentine's Day or just for like a little special gift that you could give someone. So I'm starting with a 6 by 4 inch piece of the cardboard and I'm going to use my score um, my scoreboard here and I'm going to start scoring it. Now, with my scoreboard, my numbers go from 1 to 12 up this way, from right to left. Um, I know a lot of scoreboards go the other way, but um, it still works out the same. So, the first score that you do is at 1 inch. So, I'll go down 1 inch. Then, the next one is at 2 and 3 quarters score there and then the next one's at three and three quarters and we score there and then the last one is at five and a half and then we just turn it round to the four inch side and we just score at one inch down that way okay so now the next thing we do um, you work out what side you want to show. So I'm going to have this um, this side showing. So what I want to do is I'm going to just give that a quick fold so you can see the fold lines of where I've scored it. And then on the short side, the short fold, um, we want this little rectangle cut out. So I'm just going to cut up to that bottom one inch score line and then just cut that little piece out there. And I've kind of like just tapered it in so it's not a direct cut. And then we just want to just take a little slither at the other score lines up to the one inch mark Not two and the last one there to there okay so we've got those all cut out and this is going to be the front of my box then it's just a matter of putting it all together. So I'm going to use some double sided tape for that. And I have the half inch double sided tape. I think that's what it is. Yep, that's a half inch double sided. So I'm just going to put a little bit on that small flap fold. And just take the tape off there. 
and then just bring that around and line it up to this other side here the best you can there we go okay so our little box is starting to take shape and then all you do is just push the two sides in like that and then just push the bottom ones in and I'm going to put a little bit of tape just on here to hold it as well so this double sided tape down here will just hold the bottom together and just fold that up there so look how simple that is a cute little box once you've made your little box then you can decorate it any way you want so first of all I thought I might like to use one of the little saying stamps on the bouquet of flowers by the Pink Fresh Studio and I'm just I've also got I have a little container here that I keep just some little die cuts in that are just white I'm thinking maybe a little tag on this so let's see how I go with this I'll do I'll decorate a little tag I do have other die cuts like um, just the, these ones here the little label ones might have a smaller one there a small heart but I don't think I'll get oh, I might get a that saying there on a little small heart but not sure about this one here oh I could do yeah all right so I'll just leave those three out of my little container so I already have these pre-cut um, to use okay so and this is the first time I'm using my Tim Holtz uh, <laughs> my Tim Holtz stamping pad so this side here is for rubber and I think it's this way up for clear I think that's right okay so what I'm going to do is I'll do the celebrate your day first and I really hope I do this right because I haven't used <laughs> this at all before so and I might I might try and put that on there so I'll just put magnet there and one just there line my little stamp up move that around a bit okay so that's where I want that to go S close my board on it pick my little stamp up which is now just over here and I'm going to use the <clears throat> pardon me the red stays on ink uh, the stays on blazing red ink pad just like that then we close the board back up and just give that a press down this is so exciting for me using this for the first time and we can lift that back up and first time using this stamp I'm just I'm going to do it again 
and hopefully that's a bit clearer much better oh I like that that looks pretty good okay so I'll stamp that one on there and then I'm not sure if it'll fit on on the heart or not but I'll give it a try so I've got a magnet there and one just there okay so I've got the magnet there and I'm just going to pick my stamp up and just place it where I want it on my little heart so that looks good there and close it up I've still had a bit of ink on it because I didn't clean it and put some more there and then just close that up again so we'll see how this one goes oh cool so I can only get better with time okay so we've got the celebrate going the day. to use another saying and I want this thinking of you one down here so I just put that up there and that magnet down there I don't think it's going to fit on a oh, hang on let's go sideways all right now it will fit so I'm just going to place that one there where I want it close that one up pick my stamp up whoop and just put a bit of the red stays on ink on there and close that up there and we open that and just give this another little press down oh that looks so good okay so clean my stamp which I know I'm never ever going to get a lot of this ink off uh, because it is a stays on ink but that's okay with me okay so I've stamped those and I'm just thinking which one I want to use um, I like them all now but just for decoration purpose I might go with this little um, tag that I've got so what I want to do now is I want to try I want to have a go of this wow embossing powder and this is in the primary apple red so I've got some distress embossing ink here this is one of mine and I've had it for quite a while so I'm just going to grab my tag and just gently give that a press in just all the way around the outside of my tag just so that I will be able to grab some of this embossing powder so I'm hoping this will work Oh, I've really put a lot on there but that's okay okay and 
and just a little brush to brush that off with in the center I was going to blow it then don't blow it just <laughs> keep moving it around just so that I've got the majority of it of it out of the center um, and I might have to do that again so before I heat that I'll just put this back in here okay and I'm just using my heat tool okay let that cool so that looks nice um, I think I do want to put just a little bit more just on this edge here so I'll just edge it back into here and just there on that corner okay that looks cool I like that thinking of you I might just grab a little bit of twine actually I'm just going to tie a bow there but I want to put one of those little flowers on there as well so I will pick out just one of these pretty little prima flowers one with a bit of color on it okay there. so I've got my hot glue gun going and I'm just going to put a dab of glue on the back of my bow and I'm actually going to just center that bow just above that there and then just put a little dab of glue on the back of my flower and put my flower just down in that corner okay so now now just to um, bring the top part of the box in I'm just going to run my finger down the side each side there and just squash the top of the box together so that's that side there and that's that side there but before I do that I want to put in a couple of little candies because these will be like my kisses <laughs> like the kisses from the thimble in Peter Pan and the, I've found out that these little candies they're love heart candies they just fit so cute in this little box okay so I'm just going to press that together and why didn't my bow stick okay let's try again with my bow all right let's stick my bow down and get hot glue everywhere okay now I've got my little candies in there I'm going to press that together now I'm just thinking yeah and I've got a couple of these little red uh, clips and I'm just going to clip the top of my box together with my little tag on it thinking of you I might just trim that off a bit that one to about there and that one to about there okay so that's it my quick and easy it was only a kiss thinking of you little treat bag. Uh, in my description you will find all the pro all the supplies that I used to make this 
gorgeous little it was only a kiss treat box and the core items to make this little it was only a kiss treat box can be found on Auntie Vera's online store and the link will be down below so I hope you enjoyed that it was a really quick easy fun little project and wow I just really liked the way it turned out okay thanks guys you all have a great day and I shall catch you later bye bye